The ability to communicate is vital to achieving success in business. It doesn't matter if communication is face to face, over the phone, or over email. Having an organized communication process will help you develop all types of relationships. When we communicate, it is important to understand how messages can be misunderstood. Peter Drucker once said, the most important thing in communication is to hear what isn't being said. When we are face to face, we communicate visually, vocally, and verbally. In 1967 at UCLA, Dr. Albert Moravian studied these three aspects of communication and he found that our words are believed 7% of the time, our tone 38%, and our body language 55%. That means that 93% of the time, our nonverbal communication is speaking volumes. It is critical that these three aspects are in alignment. Let's break down these three components of communication. Words. According to the American Heritage Dictionary, there are over 884,000 words in the English language. So it is important to select the right words that will assist you in communicating your ideas clearly, effectively, and vividly. In 1998 at Yale University, Dr. Levinson identified the most persuasive words and phrases in the English language. He found that using a person's name was the most persuasive word and that thank you was the most persuasive phrase. Voice. There are different factors that drive effective use of your voice when communicating. These include inflection, emphasizing a particular word, volume, the fullness of your voice, clarity, proper articulation, and pace the speed at which you speak. Practicing tongue twisters like Unique New York, Toy Boat, Red Leather, Yellow Leather are a great way to improve your enunciation. Body language. Your body position represents 55% when communicating in person. You can communicate sincerity and attention by using an open stance. It's demonstrated by looking up, feet slightly apart, a slight forward lean, and palms facing towards the person you're communicating with. An open stance is welcoming and conveys trust and acceptance. Sometimes we unconsciously make a gesture or create a distraction that ultimately takes away from the message that we want to deliver. The types of body positions we want to avoid include looking away. This could signal a lack of interest. People look at their cell phone, they look at a watch, they look at a clock. These are all examples of looking away. Folded arms. This could be received as you not being open to change. And finally, pointing. This is where people think we're in authority or have a displeasure or we're lecturing. The words you use, the sound and the inflection in your voice, and your body language comprise the message that your recipient receives. Their perceptions will be the direct interpretation of how you communicate with them.